Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe you liked Colorado to win it last night, right? I believe that's accurate. Team Team USA going yeah. against a pair of Canadians yesterday. <laughs> uh, but we we had it right for for the home side. You here. did, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you did a great job. I mean, how, how do you think the abs were at, abs were actually able to get it done too? And I, I think what was even more impressive is not even them getting out to the hot start, but holding off Tampa Bay. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think the big key was that hot start. I mean, everybody was speculating, myself included, how good were they going to be in the opening period because they've been, you know, off for so long. They clearly prioritized that and, and brought it there. Obviously, when that happens, a lot of times in like the second period, you'll see a team kind of sputter out a little bit because they bring so much energy in the first period. They were able to kind of power through that, play through that, and get to Vasilevsky. That was the key here um, for, for them. So I, I do think the strong start is what set them up well, gave them the momentum, um, and then they were just able to last the rest of the game and, and into overtime. Yeah, what do you think, Paul? I mean, even AJ was was wise enough yesterday to, you know, fade the lightning netminder. You know what? That was a good call, as it turned out. A number of the abs forwards did what they normally do, and that's skate like the wind and put on offensive pressure. I didn't I didn't expect that early on. I thought that they would try and get into the pool at the shallow end, but they went right into the deep end. It was telling in the way that the three stars were Burakovsky, Landeskog, and Rantanen. Odd that it was an avalanche sweep, though, in an overtime game, but that's the way it sometimes goes in that particular gambit. But I thought Natushkin was their best player, leading the club by a wide margin in total shot attempts, while also leading the team with six shots on goal. That was my call yesterday that went well. I didn't see much from the Lightning offensive leaders, Kucherov and Stamkos particularly, didn't find their way near the prime scoring opportunity areas all night long. And we saw that big territorial edge for Colorado that I expected, uh, but uh, And the goalie wasn't really tested that much. I was surprised by that. A key element for me, though, guys, was the fourth line usage. Colorado only used their guys for about six or seven minutes. Tampa went a lot heavier of almost 12 minutes across the board for their fourth liners. I think that had to do with something about getting used to playing at altitude. I think with a couple of days off, you're going to see a different Tampa team in game two.